While it may seem obvious, the fact is you've got to know what to practice if you want your golf to improve. Tens of thousands of practice balls are hit every day, most of them with the intention of improving our game. The underlying question is, what should you be practicing? If your goal is to produce straight shots with optimal distance and trajectory and direction, the answer to the question of what should I practice becomes clearly defined. There are four essentials for producing those quality shots. The essentials apply to every player and to every swing you make, putter through driver. Interestingly, if we surveyed those golfers hitting all those thousands of balls, few would be able to list these four universal essentials. Let's review them and why they are critical. The first is that the club face must be square to the target line. Most golfers pay some attention to having the club face face the direction they want their ball flight. Their assumption is that the club face will return to this direction as it meets the ball on the forward swing. What we understand is that the ball's initial direction is predominantly determined by the direction of the club face. If we want the ball to start along our target line, the club face must be perpendicular to that line at impact. Despite if we're able to deliver the club face square to the target line at impact, if we contact the ball towards the toe of the club, the shaft will twist and the club face will point to the right. If we contact the ball towards the heel, the shaft will twist and the club face will point to the left. However, if we contact the ball towards the center of the club face, the shaft will not twist and the ball will start along the target line. The only way your ball can start on your target line is if your club face does not twist. Therefore, in addition to the club face being square at the target line, the ball must also be contacted by the center of the club face. The ball is an inanimate object. It cannot move on its own. It can only move in the direction of the energy that we impart to it. When tossing a ball, it can only travel in the direction of your tossing arm. The ball can only travel in the direction of your swinging golf club. If you want to toss a ball to a target, your arm must swing toward that target. Similarly, if you want your ball to go to the target, the club must swing towards that target. So in review, the first three of the four requirements are that the club be square to the target line at impact, the ball be contacted by the center of the club face, and the club is swinging along the target line. Lastly, after delivering the club face perpendicular to the target line, achieving center contact, and swinging in the direction of your target, the club must deliver enough energy to the ball to repel it the desired distance. For full swings, this amounts to choosing the right club for the distance to the target. For partial swings, like putting and chipping, the size of the swing is appropriate for the distance to be covered. Regardless of the club the player is using, these are the fundamentals that will result in game improvement. In brief, here's how to achieve those four essentials. For the club face to be square at impact, the club face should be square to the target line at address and should be held with a neutral grip. At address, your weight should be balanced and the club face centered on the golf ball. Then, during the swing, there should be no weight shift until the club pulls the player forward to their front foot after impact. Third, the shaft of the club should track the target line to your target, much like your tossing arm would track the target line to the destination. This will require you to remember the target's location and to swing the shaft in that direction. With regard to club speed, on a full swing, choose the right club for your swing speed to carry the ball to the target. For partial swings, learn how to enable your visualization to inform your muscles to perform the appropriate size swing, much as you would do in tossing, where you would see the target and your brain would respond to its distance.
So, what to make your practice time the most productive? Always build on these four essentials. My name is Ed LeBeau, and with Heartland Golf Schools, good luck.